Coinbase is no longer trading with Barclays Bank and the creator of Litecoin is now investing in Bitcoin. But let's start the show. Welcome back to Crypto Global News. Please make sure that you like, share, and also subscribe to the show. Also, we got a brand new website. So right now, jump over to CryptoGNT.com and have a look at all the latest news from the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency. You can find a link to our new website in the show notes below. Enjoy today's episode. It's being reported now that Barclays, the London-based global bank, recently stopped banking for Coinbase. Now, Coinbase reportedly found a quick replacement in the form of another United Kingdom-based establishment called ClearBank. Now, while now while Barclays connected San Francisco-based Coinbase to the UK, faster payment scheme enabling instant withdrawals and deposit of British pounds at the exchange, ClearBank won't offer the exchange the same service until at least the end of Q3 2019. Deposits and withdrawals in pounds for Coinbase's UK customers, which once took seconds, will now take days to process. Why did this happen and what's the future of Coinbase and Barclays? FaceApp, the mobile application that's raised a lot of concerns about potential privacy violations for users that upload their photos to be edited. Rumors have circulated that the application may even be taking users' photos from their phones and uploading them to the FaceApp cloud server without explicit permission. Now there's a push to use dApps, which are decentralized applications, to help curb these issues. So will dApps be the thing that helps in the realm of privacy control moving forward? Just a reminder, we got a brand new website. Jump over right now to CryptoGNT.com and have a look at all the latest news in the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency. You can find a link to our brand new website in the show notes below. And back to today's episode. The holding company of cryptocurrency, Friendly Silvergate Bank, Silvergate Capital Corporation, announced that the firm plans to offer cryptocurrency collateralized loans. We believe there may be attractive opportunities to provide digital currency borrowing facilities to deepen our high quality customer relationships and further enhance our interest income. In the document, the firm states that it found significant demand for cryptocurrency-related borrowing. Now, the service would consist of the client providing crypto assets, or US dollars, as collateral in exchange for significantly greater credit. Loans and cryptocurrency, what comes next for this platform? A delegation of United States House of Representatives is planning on a visit to Switzerland on cryptocurrency concerns, with Facebook's not yet released stablecoin Libra being in the focus. A six-member delegation of the House Financial Services is going over to exchange views about digital currencies. The delegation is led by the chairwoman of the House Financial Services Committee, Ms. Maxine Waters, who previously requested that Facebook halt Libra's development until the purported risks it poses could be properly understood. Let's see how this meeting goes and how it works out for both governments. Litecoin co-founder Charlie Lee recently revealed he's an investor in Casa, which is a Bitcoin personal key security firm. He also noted that he has high hopes for the company. I have the same feeling about Casa today as I did about Coinbase when I joined in 2013. As the third hire, Casa is making Bitcoin easy to use, and that is extremely important for this space. Looking forward to great things. People are making a big deal about this and thinking perhaps that Mr. Lee does not have complete faith in Litecoin, or that he feels that Bitcoin is superior, or it could just be that he wants to diversify his portfolio. What will Mr. Lee invest in next? Many thanks for tuning into today's episode. Please make sure that you like, share, and also subscribe to the show. And please remember to go check out our new website at CryptoGNT.com. This is where you can find all the latest news from the world of blockchain and cryptocurrency. You can find a link to our new website in the show notes below. For Crypto Global News, I'm Edward. Until next time, you take it easy.